Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Voices of Diamonds podcast. I'm your host, Anisha Graham, with my co-host, Mr. Taylor, and uh, my other co-host, Nancy Garcia. And today, we're going to be touching on topics, political, mostly political stuff, but basically how we feel about the riots and basically what's just going on in the world right now. And I'm going to let Mr. Taylor start off. I, I have a range of mixed emotions. I'm really happy to be here with you guys with the podcast. But as far as how I'm feeling, um, I can't wait to get back to school. That's how I'm feeling. I want to get back in the classroom. Uh, you know, I want us to 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 get to our, our our equipment, record, do so many fun things. But I'm just excited to be here with you on this podcast today as well with Nancy G. That's amazing and same to you. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and touch on the uh, topics, but um, the riots. Nancy, you, you have any feelings on those riots? How you feeling? How you feeling? So angry, 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 angry. See, if they didn't treat Black Lives Matter protesters like that, but they treat them with respect, they helped them come down the stairs. They helped an old lady come down the stairs. They didn't have the same energy when they went to the Black Lives Matter protests, you know? If you compare both of them, like, it's just- yeah, I, I definitely understand what you're saying, Nancy. The Black Lives Matter protest was more peaceful than that riot, and they treated those rioters like they were kings and queens helping them down those stairs. Yeah. Um, Okay, so Mr. Taylor, how are you feeling about the riots? Well, I was definitely disgusted about the riots and I wasn't I wasn't happy to see what went on. Um, but I'm definitely happy now that, you know, things are moving forward. Um, it, it is a shame though that there is a double standard and it was clearly evident within the way they treated each protesters, but I'm, I'm positive about the future and I'm positive about when we came into class the next day, how you guys were, were able to really know and, and be able to discern what was right and what was wrong. Everybody knew that that was the wrong thing to do. And, and it was good to see just how everybody was able to understand what was happening in real time and just see how really smart and intelligent you guys were within the topics that you were discussing. So I was really encouraged by hearing from my students. How did you feel? Um, personally, I was angered, like extremely angered. I cried. Um, I talked to my parent, my parent about it because when I found out about it, it was like two o'clock in the morning where I should have been asleep, but I was wide awake on Instagram and that's how I found out. And personally, I feel like Instagram is the worst way to find out about stuff like that. Like, especially if you're deep into that kind of political stuff and you have, you feel like you have an attachment to it. That's the worst way to find out about it. But apparently I wasn't the only one who felt like that because I was on this site called PewResearch.org and it stated to me that nearly four in 10 adults 37% to be exact, express a strong negative emotion in response. Also, more than one in 10 Americans, 14% also expressed an emotion of surprise. And I'm not surprised that they were surprised because they posted uh, beforehand, they posted beforehand on multiple social media sites that they were gonna do that. But nobody thought that they, these these white people were actually like bold enough to go to the US Capitol. Who wakes up and says that they're gonna go storm the US Capitol today? Like, who says that? Um, do you have any thoughts on that, Mr. Taylor? No, I mean, we're, we're, we're all just trying to come to grips with what's happening. More or less where, where my energy is, is how can we continuously teach our students? How can our students continuously be educated under such harsh circumstances? You know, virtual teaching is not easy and and virtual learning is not easy and so just being able to connect the current events with students at home explain what's happening you know it was definitely a lot but i'm i'm you know i'm excited to see what the future holds and thank you for the for the research point i i really do agree with what you said from the information that you found out on pew research you're very welcome. And I also agree with what you said about the it being hard. It's literally like waking up every morning at the same time and getting on a long video call that most people don't even want to be on. That's that's how it feels to most people. But um, 
is there anything, Nancy, you want to say? You want to get anything off your chest about this political party thing? Party How about the, um, How about the reparation? reparation? Some people might disagree with me, but they need to be held accountable. Like, they need to do something. The police, the FBI need to do something. They need to step up their game. This can't be going on. Because these people, if I'm not wrong, they're white supremacists, right? However you say it. And they be getting... Uh-huh. I was saying, I believe that's what it is. That's what they're called. And... Yeah, they need to be held accountable because what they're doing is not right and illegal. So they need to have the same energy. I definitely understand what you're saying. I feel like um, the people, like there was officers up in there taking pictures with some of them. Like they were in there taking selfies and posting it and saying, look at the rioters, y'all. Like y'all posting stuff. If that was a black man pulling out a phone, he would have got shot because y'all think it's a gun. Your your life is in danger. But let, let's try to keep all the points positive here. You know, just inform everybody. Uh, better days are gonna come. They're always gonna come. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for listening to our podcast, Voices of Diamonds. I hope you enjoyed it and please come back. Again, I'm your host, Anisha Graham, but uh, my co-host, Mr. Taylor and Nancy. Thank you for your time.